him. I want to watch the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. McGovern, it's time for the only news that matters. And former ACDC bassist Mark Evan reflected on his relationship with Bon Scott and Angus Young, noting how he wished the band's late singer took as much care of himself as he did of others. Bon Scott is remembered by the wider rock and roll community as one of the best embodiments of the wild front man, full of spit and vinegar and charisma to spare, but also one of the biggest darlings that ever graced the stage. Most people who got to meet him, spend time, or even work with the late legend, reminisce about how with uh, him, it was extreme fondness. So. It's not surprising that Mark Evans had nothing but the best to say about Bon Scott during a recent appearance on Spain's Rock FM. Even though the bassist admits that the vocalist's age puzzled him at first, he said, Bon was a great guy. He was a very warm, generous man and a gentleman. But when I joined the band, I was 19 and he was 29. It was really strange because I thought, what am I doing working with a band with a guy so old? We used to call him the old man. It seems crazy, right? But no, Bon was a great guy. He was a great front man and he just had a really big heart. He cared a lot about the people around him and I only just wish he had cared about himself as much as he cared about others. It was a big loss, but he was a good fella, a great front man, and I miss him very much these days. Mark Evans joined the band back in 1975 and remained with the band long enough to appear on a few of their legendary studio albums, like TNT and High Voltage and Dirty Deeds and the epic Let There Be Rock. He said, when I first joined the band, I was told this is Malcolm's band. Malcolm was the leader of the band. It was his vision. He was very much the strong man. But as with all brothers, they don't always agree. So there were some very loud turns between the brothers. But that's just brothers. They grew up together, so it's typical brothers. Despite being a critical part of the band's formative years, Evans was not inducted as a member of the ACDC and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I didn't know that. However, he says he carries no grudge because of it. He says, there's another thing that I think has been misinterpreted over the years. I have no problem with that. I think the right people are in it. And that's the classic lineup of ACDC. And there has been other people who have played in the band too. I have no issue with it whatsoever. I think the decision is correct. As what he'd say to Angus Young today, he said, I'd give him a hug and say, hi, how are you doing? I'm still a fan of the band. It's a great band. And if I had one regret regarding the band, it's that over the years, we have lost contact. Obviously, we were all good friends, and while we were together in that lineup, you know, it's because we had different lives. I don't have any contact with the guys at all these days, but they're great guys, and I miss them. All right, first of all, I didn't know, but it doesn't surprise me that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, when they inducted ACDC, they didn't induct Mark Evans. And even Mark, Mark Evans is being nice. Oh, no, I mean, you know, they inducted the classic lineup. No, man, you were in the classic lineup. Come on. How can you talk about ACDC and not talk about Let There Be Rock, man? Come on. That's one of the greatest ACDC albums that he was part of. 
and TNT and high voltage, you know, and dirty deeds. All classics. Yeah, my favorite is uh, Power Age. And then I went to hell, but then let there be rock, man. It's crazy to think that, you know, this guy is not considered part of the classic lineup. Well, it's not crazy to think that if we're talking about the enemies of metal, also known as the Rock and Roll Hall lane, you know? So, yeah. And, you know, there I read some books and Bon Scott didn't like Mark Evans and neither did Angus Young. So I think it was a combination of those two that he was out of the band and why he's not in contact with either one of them today. Anyway, and yeah, you know, I mean, 29 years old and you're 19, especially back in the 70s, I don't know how it is today. But man, I remember when I was 13 and I knew like a 16 year older and I'd be like, damn, that guy's old, he's 16. You know, so being 19 and your singer's 29, it's like, yeah, I can, I can see like that big age gap kind of be like, what the hell? All right, now I want to bring up something that some of my awesome viewers left in the comments that I didn't think about. And I was like, oh man, yes, that would have been awesome. Like now that Cliff Williams left the band, it would have been awesome to bring Mark Evans back. That way you can have two members from the old days, from the 70s, you know? But they didn't do that because there's bad blood. But man, that would have been awesome for old school fans to get at least Mark Evans up there with Angus Young where you have two members of the classic Bon Scott early lineup. But yeah, man, somebody brought that up in some ACDC news story I did before. And I was like, damn, that would have been awesome. All right, well, now I'm going to rank the ACDC album featuring Mark Evans. Only four albums. And I'll have to say at number four, which probably would be my least favorite of the Bon Scott years. Still, it's great. High voltage. And I'm not talking about the international version. I'm going to work with you Australians. You see the Australians out there, every time I make a video about ACDC, I always explain, try to explain to my Australian friends that, hey, I grew up on these versions, not your version. But the truth of the matter is, their version are really the real versions, you know? So, I'm dedicating this to those Australians. Put a shrimp in the barbie. A dingo ate my baby. All right, so this is for you guys. And I'm going to say your version of high voltage, which I don't like as much as the high voltage version I got. But hey, that's besides the point. Yours has show business. Uh, you ain't got a hold on me. And uh, Soul Stripper, Stick Around, Little Lover, She's Got Balls. Hey, it's good shit, man. And then I'll say my next favorite is the next album. And number three, TNT, which the better songs on this album are on the high voltage version I got. Like, It's a Long Way to the Top, Rock and Roll Singer, The Jack. Uh, can I sit next to you, girl? You know, good stuff, man. TNT, of course, Livewire. Great stuff. That's at number three. All right, at number two, I'm going to have to go with Dirty Deeds Done to Cheap. Funny thing about this album was I discovered this album after Back in Black. That's when America got it. That's when they released it to us Yankees. And I loved it, man. I bought it. 
fucking Dirty Deeds. The incredible, underrated Love at First Feel. One of my favorite ACDC songs. Um, Ride On, Squealer. Come on. That album's a masterpiece. But the greatest ACDC album with Mark Evans is, of course, Let There Be Rock, man. Doggy Dog, Overdose. Are you kidding me? Overdose? Hell ain't a bad place to be. Whole lot of Rosie. The title track, Bad Boy Boogie Go Down. Man. Problem Child. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going with the Australian version. No Problem Child. Problem Child is on Dirty Deeds. Deeds. This has Crab City and Blue. So that is my ranking of the ACDC albums with Mark Evans. Hey, you all can leave your comments below of uh, your rankings or what you think about Mark Evans and ACDC. I personally love it. And thank you all for watching The Only News That Matters. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Ring that little notification bell and like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms so stay frosty listen to black sabbath and smack them a gob farewell and adieu to you fair spanish ladies farewell and adieu you ladies of spain for we've received orders for to sail back to boston and so never more shall we see you again. <laughs>